cannot have a society in which some dictator someplace can start imposing censorship here in the United States. Because if somebody is able to intimidate folks out of releasing a satirical movie, imagine what they start doing when they see a documentary that they don't like. Oh, you mean like burn down our compound in Benghazi and then you go before the, uh, the uh, Muslim world to make a video apologizing for it, for it, calling it a terrible thing? Oh, gee, what hypocrisy. Hey, folks, before we get to the panel, I want to welcome Dish Network viewers that would normally be seeing our friends at Fox Business Network on this channel. Although we don't know the future of Fox on Dish Network, Newsmax TV, which is what you're watching right now, is always available on channel 223 on Dish 24-7. So thanks for tuning in. And remember, uh, if uh, Fox comes back, you can find us at 223. All right. The panel rejoined us. Adam Thompson and uh, Rick Unger uh, rejoined us. All right. The president talked about North Korea. The FBI was pretty quick to come out and say that it was uh, the Sony hacking was uh, North Korea. They were guilty. They were to blame. Now we have a, a, a senior a, a, a security firm coming out and saying they brought evidence to the FBI saying that this was done by a disgruntled ex-Sony employee who hacked into Sony, not North Korea, Adam. So first of all, what do you think here? And secondly, from your point of view, what would the legal ramifications be after the FBI already announced it was North Korea, if any? Well, that's a huge blunder if that's the case. I thought it was a little suspicious when within days, really, we knew that North Korea was behind this supposed hack. Usually it takes a, a while to trace all the different uh, possibilities it can lead to and connect the dots, but here it was like, boom, it's North Korea. Experts that I've talked to for my radio show have told me that they don't believe that it's North Korea, and they do think it is some internal type of hackers right here within the United States or elsewhere, and they actually suspect it might be former Sony employees. So I tend to give a lot of credit to this other security firm that thinks they discovered who it might be, and it might be localized here, and former employees. That would make a lot more sense than a foreign country committing a cyber attack, which is actually an act of war. I don't think they would be that well, crazy Rick, to do that. Well, let, let me correct you. It's uh, it's like a graffiti. It's uh, cyber vandalism, according to our president. But, Rick, we may, if we're wrong, <laughs> we might have to do cyber a mea vandalism. culpa to North Korea well, and it's, provide its leader with a, a lifetime of free porno downloads. <laughs> it's confusing. Not as confusing as that thing you tried to set up in the beginning with the documentary, but it's confusing. I, it is. This uh, security firm is a very credible company. There's no getting around it. Uh, so about Norse, yeah. Yeah, Norse. It's a little tough to think that just one person who was fired from Sony would have that kind of expertise. Uh, I suppose it's possible. You know, I, I, it, you better hope the FBI was right because this is not something you want to be throwing around and be incorrect about. But, but you, you, uh, Rick, you don't see the, the, the irony here of Obama talking about what if somebody, what if a foreign government doesn't like something we do? You know, what's next? News this. So Obama and Hillary actually did a video that played in many uh, parts of the Arab world apologizing for the so-called anti-Muslim video that they tried to hoodwink us into believing started, uh, was responsible for the Benghazi attack. Yeah, the, so he did exactly the, what, what, the, he, what he says he, we can't do. The only problem is Obama was talking about censorship by a foreign government. You're, his, I don't think that his video that you're talking about was censored by any government over there. So I don't get no, the was, uh, But Obama would have censored it. if, In other words, he apologized for that video. Why would our, our leader apologize for someone's creative uh, work of art just because it offended somebody but he didn't censor it did he and that's he the point apologized. he apologized that's the irony here do you see the irony adam well i, I think one. i could kind of see rick's point of view censorship and putting out an apology are two different things to me he he didn't ban it from being played so people could see what it has to say and then you could openly disagree or agree with it how you want it he disagreed with it is he speaking out of both sides of his mouth sure but he didn't censor it. He apologized for it. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it, to, to me, so because you're apologizing for someone's work of art, His and now you go, now art. you're Did saying, you all these months you later, that, you're Bill? saying, oh, hey, we can't guys, be run by people being offended by art. works of art. You don't is like it, my is works, it a work of art when actors' voices are changed guys, and new dialogue is inserted? Guys, gotta go. Give me five is next. Thank you, panel. Happy New Year. Same to you.